afternoon all of you and let's see how we can solve this question well let's see the question first we have a quadratic expression in lhs 31 into 20 looks not so good but rhs is 2 square it is to the power x in this and the question is not about which is a usual fashion to find the number of solutions but it's to find the sum of all real roots of their equation. So x belongs to our summation of where x is the real root of their now, Of course, one of the way of solving this is to give it and try. Try with x equals 0, like getting slapped. Put x equals 1, tight slap. Okay, x equals 2. Well, that's not working. It feels like giving up. Who knows, we are too close, but still it feels like giving up. So is there a way of doing so? One way in which usually you deal with two different spaces like Indian and Chinese. Chinese in the sense, let's call 2 to the power x as a separate species and x square and x as an Indian species. Then what fundamentally we do is we try to plot the graph of quadratic. We try to plot the graph of 2 to the power x. And a similar question, very beautiful question was asked in J Men's this year, which was to find the number of solution of 2 raised to the power x equals x square. Clearly x equals 2 and x equals 4 works. And we'll have one more solution because when x is negative. So the answer for this problem particularly was 3. It's not so easy to do with that, right? Because how you'll be sure like there is no other solution in positive numbers apart from 2 and 4. Just because you can't seek or you can't see the solution, it doesn't mean that things do not exist. Just maybe I don't believe in God. It does not guarantee God doesn't exist. Okay. Anyway, so what to do about this? Moreover, the hint is coming the moment I have asked you the sum of the real roots of the equation. It means somehow I must have a way to find the roots. Or even if I am not able to find the root, there must be a mechanism to find the sum of real roots. And here we go. The given expression can be written in a fanciful form. So what we can do is we can try to bring everything on one side. So we have x square minus right and 2x times 2x will give 2x to the power 4 so that i write 2 to the power x whole square let's bring it in lhs and 2x into minus 2x is also good hope because that gives us 2 times 2 to the power x into x and it's good job because you know like these two things i'm able to somehow manage and it looks like a perfect square Moreover, 31 was appearing on both sides. So I can take minus 31 common, transport everything on one side. x plus 2 to the power x plus 220 is nothing. And that's a good game because x plus 2 to the power x whole square minus 31. x plus 2 raised to power x plus 220 simply dies. So now it's fundamentally it's a quadratic. So if I take x plus 2 by x as t, the given expression boils down to t square minus 31t plus 220 equals 0. Now it's not tough to see the roots of this equation because clearly 220 we can factor as 11 into 2. So 11 into 20. Some of them is 31 product is this. So that gives t equals 11 or 20. But how to find the x? Now we can assume since f of x equals x plus 2 to the power x. Here yeah, that's indirectly this notation is t. So f dash is going to be 1 plus 2 raised to power x ln 2, which is always positive. So x plus 2 to the power x itself is a strictly increasing function. What I mean at x equals 0, will get 1. At minus infinity is going to be minus infinity because this will be almost in ICU. And, you know, like at infinity, it will go to infinity. So when the value of t equals 11, so this fact, this is 0 comma 1. And the value of t equals 11. So when the output of f of x is 11, let's say y equals 11, I'll have only one value corresponding to x, right? Let's say x equals alpha. And again, when the value of this expression is 20, y equals 20, this line will have exactly one value x equals beta. But again, it feels like how to solve this. So for what value x plus 2 ka power x is going to be 11? Or 20. Now that's not very difficult because we can give a trial. <coughs> okay, because since the question is asking for the situation, so if x is 2, it's not working. 2 plus 4 if it's 3, 
3 plus 8 yay we got one of the answers so one of the answer for this problem is going to be 3 so alpha is 3 what about beta let's try with 4 4 plus 16 is 20 oh that's great so 3 and 4 is the answer and is that the only answer of course yes so 7 is the solution for this we have proved since the function x plus 2 to the power x is strictly increasing so only way to get 11 is when x must be a single real number and that fortunately i found it to be three. not always you'll be so fortunate and then not always you'll be so unfortunate that the question setter will ask you that thank you have a